on this episode. Welcome to Buckles Berry Lemonade. I'm your host, Lisa, with my handsome co-host, Timothy. Hello. And this podcast is going to be, we're going to just head right on into it. It's going to be unidentified persons. And of course, we're going to have no pictures because of the algorithm. And please, please, people, if you recognize any of the description of any of these people, please at least reach out to see. You never know. It could be a missing loved one, someone you've been looking for for, for years. I don't know, but even these people, they need closure. They're unidentified. They were sitting, waiting for you to find them. And these would be unidentified cases in North Carolina. Oh, yes. Um, sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I was just assuming. No, that's fine. And guys, we'll be working um, from the NamUs database today. Um, in a future episode, we will be going through the John Doe database. But for today, it is the NamUs. And uh, if you're ready, go ahead. Whenever. Okay. This first one, I'm going to give the case number. It is UP121841. And it, it, the body was found April 27th, 2015 in New Bern, North Carolina. And let me see. He was a male. His uh, race is unknown. He was... His height was one foot seven inches. He was one pound, so he was a newborn. Mm. He was deceased, and he was um, he was decompos he was uh, decomposing. Sorry, when um, he was found, and his body was found in a ditch by some neighborhood kids. Wow! And that is just sad. He was not recognizable. Yeah, that that is very sad. Hair, he had, no, he did have brown hair, and they didn't know his eye color. He had no distinctive features. No, that's, that's all we know about him. And guys, we know this is a needle in a haystack. I mean, it really is. But what we're after is, is have you heard anybody discussing this? Anybody say, well, such and such back in 2015, they discarded a child or an infant in a ditch. That's what we're after, okay? So if you know anything and can provide any information, again, please contact the proper authorities. Um, some of these cases, we've got a little more to grow on, a little more description, but for the majority of them, we will not have a, a lot to go on. And certainly in this case, we just know that this was an infant in Craven County, North Carolina, in New Bern in 2015, and he was found... Um, by kids out playing, he was found in a ditch. And that must have been horrible for those kids to see. Very traumatic. I mean, it's um, it, it's heartbreaking. Very. So. Okay. And the next case is another newborn. It's sad any, but newborns especially. Um, UP, the case number is UP116403. This was also in Craven County. And let me pull it up here. He was also a male. He was, his height was one foot seven inches. And he was actually six pounds. Mm. And he was, his, the date his body was found was October 24th, 1998 in Newburn, wow. North Carolina. Um. The dog brought a trash bag with the infant wrapped in towels and bags. Yeah. He was decomposing, not recognizable. He had black hair. Wow. And all we really know is that had this, this infant survived, they would have been 26 years old or thereabouts today. Yep. And that's just, just sad. I mean. If you know something. Yeah. Can you imagine... You, you go to let Fido in, and there he stands with a trash bag that contains a, a baby. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, that would be. Oh, wow. It's horrible. That is Again, horrible. folks, uh, the day that the, the infant was found was October 24th, 1998 in Newburn, North Carolina. If you've heard anyone discussing something along these lines and they happen to say something that just doesn't sound right. I mean, I know people talk, but when people start dropping, um, well, you know, this, we think this was cousin or aunt, such and such as child. Those are the things that, that are important. So, Yes. And um, while we're in Craven County, uh, I'll go through the next one. The, the next one um, is an African female, and uh, her case number is uh, UP6260. Her body was discovered February 5th, 2008 in Dover, North Carolina. Oh, wow. That's yeah. close. Yeah, it's real close for us. That's an estimated age of between 40 and 60 years of age at the time. Um, she stood around five foot four, maybe 116 pounds, and her estimated year of death could have been in 2017 or 2018. And I do know on the John Doe Network, because we've covered this one before, um, some of the sketch artists and things like that, um, you you know when they will will reconstruct with clay and things like that to try and say from bone fragments this is what their their face looked like. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I know this was done for her. Um, all of her body parts were were discovered, and what happened is she was found by someone in an abandoned house on a large farm. And it appears the victim may have been living there with other people at different times. So transient people or squatters or however you want to oh, word, okay. word that. And uh, again, this was in Dover, North Carolina. She was discovered on February 5th, 2008. She would have been uh, in the age group of 40 to 60 years. However, she could have been deceased uh, as early as 2007. And again, 2007. I, yeah. yeah. Oh, she wow. Was just, she was discovered 2008. So she could have passed away 2017 to 2000, or excuse me, 2007 to 2008. Yeah, I was getting ready to say. <laughs> yeah, I jumped ahead on that one. Um, <laughs> but again, she was discovered more than likely by a former on an in an abandoned house on a large farm. Hmm. Well, anybody, if you know anything, anything about this lady, if she sounds familiar, if it could be an aunt, a uh, friend, uh, mm, at least help identify her. Yeah, it it is important. Very important. And so, with that, um, we'll go to the to the next screen here, um, and it looks like. Give me just a second here. Get to get back to my proper screen, but you know that that's just kind of it. That's sad. I mean, it's you know wonder what the circumstances are that you've been missing all this time, and 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 it's like I hope my children would miss me after a while. <laughs> to to be sure. Um, it's known, you know, and it looks like from going over the files, there's 163 cases. Unidentified people altogether. missing in North Carolina. Yeah. Yeah. You want me to do the next one or did you want to go through You that? can do the next one and then I'll do the, I'll do the, okay, you're doing the two last three I'm, or two, two, one. No, I'm the, yeah, that's right. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. This is case number UP126221. Um, they've listed as a male, but they're not quite sure. Uh, this happened in Rutherford, North Carolina. They were discovered this month, July 22nd, 2024. 
So, guys, where the other cases uh, have some age on them, this is a little fresh. Hmm. Here's here's what we know. Um, they can't determine the age group because of the decomp. They they feel like he was around five foot ten. They can't identify any of the weight. Um, it, again, Rutherford County um, found deceased and mummified in an unsecured residence. So again, uh, deceased and mummified in probably an abandoned home, um, and may have been there for a few years, you know, um, and that, that really is all the information that we have. There's, there's nothing else to add. Uh, Rutherford County body found July 22nd, 2024 mummified in what's being listed is an unsecured residence, so an abandoned home. Um, that tells me they've been there for quite a while. Mm. So, again, folks, if you have anything, uh, any information, you know, do you know anybody who's been missing a relative for a long time in Rutherford County? I mean, it, it's worth checking into, you know? Oh, wow. Yeah, it definitely is. So that takes us uh, to the next one that's uh, in that's Lexington. Be, yeah, that'll be me. Okay. It's going to be the case number is UP one two four six four nine, and that one is June the twentieth of twenty twenty four. So that was last month, mm -hmm. and he was also male. They're not certain about his race. Um, he was five eight. They cannot estimate his weight. Uh, date body was found, as I said, was June the 20th, 2024 in Lexington, Davidson County. Decomposed remains in abandoned home is where it was found. He wow. was mummified as well. He had brown hair and let's see, he had clothing. He had a dark belt and it was on the body. Clothing. Blue shirt cut off to short sleeves that was on the body. Clothing, jeans, true craft, 34, 32, it was on the body. Dark underwear on the body. Dark long johns on the body. It was hot wearing long johns. Mm -hmm. Clothing, he had dark socks on. He had tan boots, the Brahma boots, and they were all on the body. And he had a black metal ring inscription, I love you, photo is uploaded on the body. Wow. That looks like a wedding ring. Looks like a wedding ring. It does. So, guys, obviously just, I mean, that's three cases that we've already been on. Um, some homelessness going on. Um, but he, it like, maybe... I don't know. Maybe she died. I don't know. He, yeah. he died. No, I'm talking about his wife. If he was married or his significant other or somebody said they loved you. Yeah. So, so there's somebody, there's bound to be somebody out there looking for this person. And guys, we fully realize that this can transcend state lines. I mean, somebody could have been from another state that ended up in, Lexington, North Carolina, or Craven County, or, or Rutherford. Anywhere. County. Yeah. Anywhere. But again, I want to give you the case number. It is UP 124 649. Wow. Please, if you think anything stands out and there's a little bit different on this one, he does have a ring. And, you know, it might mean something to somebody. Please yeah. say something. Call the proper authorities. That's right. Wow. That's all you can do. Well, the, the next one, we're going to go to Fayetteville, North Carolina. Um, this is an identified male. Um, 
but again, they're they're saying not certain because of the decompensation. Body was discovered May twenty seventh, two thousand twenty four, and uh, estimated height around five foot eight, weight maybe one hundred and eight pounds or in that range. Um, and again, guys with decomp, I mean, so much has happened there. Age group puts them around pre sixty. They're, they're not really sure. Again, this was Cumberland County in Fayetteville, um, North Carolina. And um, it looks like just from doing a little more research, found somewhere in the woods by Clemson Drive, Cornell, um, Cornell Drive, somewhere around in there in 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 fayetteville north carolina they were found in the woods unrecognizable um badly decomposed in in the woods and again this happened may they were discovered on may 27th 2024 fayetteville north carolina which is cumberland county mm. that's sad yes it is very sad so very, very sad. So then we're going to go to your neck of the woods. My neck of the woods. And that would be Wayne County. Yep. My neck of the woods is going to be, let me see. It will be UP122396. I'm having to start looking <laughs> now. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> put the case number somewhere <laughs> but okay it was a male he, and they he was white caucasian they did say that he was pre-60 they estimated his age around 45 55 and they estimated the year of his death between 2023 and 2024 and these are only estimates they're saying he's he was between 5 8 and 5 10 his body was found on May 5th, 2024, and he was found in Goldsboro, Wayne County, and it was skeletal, nah, skeletal remains were found in a wooded area frequented by undomiciled individuals. Well, that, well, is, okay, would that mean? Homeless. Okay, okay, is that what that means? So I was thinking wild people. <laughs> yeah. I mean, undomiciled. I mean, that's like untamed. Yeah. You know. Well, we but, we live in a domicile. You know, it's a lot of fancy talk for just okay. saying somebody was homeless. You know. Okay. The condition of remains. He was not recognizable. It was near complete or a complete skeleton. None known hair color. None of his body description. In his clothing, he had a black a gray Columbia titanium jacket, size extra large, blue-gray hoodie, size and label gone, black belt, dark blue running pants, size and label gone, blue jeans, Volcom stone border wear, size 38, 32, and one purple sock. And all that was near the body. And that is everything they have on this man. Sad. That is very sad. Well, all right, guys. So next we will go back to Fayetteville. And um, the name is UP number there is 116626. And um, this is an African male discovered February 6, 2024. Uh, in Fayetteville with an estimated age of around 30 to 99 years. And at least if you look up in the corner, you, there's there's actually a picture there. Hold on, I'm looking. I'm trying to so, get to it. Uh, an adult oh male. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, pretty bad shape. Five foot seven to five foot ten estimated body weight, estimated to be around 149 pounds. Um Again, discovered February 6, 2024. And here are the circumstances of the recovery. 
owners of a used car dealership let him stay inside their building overnight just so he could be out of the cold. Um, they did oh. not. Yeah, they did not get any info from him. Uh, the morning on the morning of um, February the sixth, they returned to the location and found him unresponsive, sitting in a chair next to the feeder. Uh, hair color gray, partially uh, gray. That's so he was sitting inside the building mm -hmm, and passed away. Oh, at least he was not cold. Yeah, and bless him. And again, guys, there are pictures with this one. It is the UP116626. If you want to take a look at that, uh, estimated age group between 30 and 99 years again that's an estimate but once you see the pictures this this was an elderly gentleman he he had he was he was he needed yeah mm -hmm. uh has very faint tattoos on uh the tops of his forms i am not sure what that is if i had to guess that's some kind of eagle or bird mm -hmm. um yeah, I, I would say that's some kind of evil. Um, yeah. So I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, another tattoo, again, very faint. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, I just I just don't know. Um, these do not look like they were professional tattoos um, at all. So. Um. Wow. Yeah, he's got several tattoos. There's no telling what, what they are. The most prominent one does look like that might have been an eagle or a bird of of some type. Um, but for all intent purposes, it looks like this guy was an elderly gentleman. Again, this was February 6, 2004 is when he was discovered. He was discovered by employees at a used car lot that the owners would let him stay in the building overnight to keep him warm. Uh, they never were able to gather a lot of information from him. But they gathered they could trust him. Yeah. I mean, there must have been something about him that they felt he was trustworthy. You know? Yeah. And they walked in the building the next morning to go to work. And there he was slumped over in a chair by the heater deceased mm -mm -mm. So, well again, i'm gonna do go ahead i'm sorry again guys that's in fayetteville north carolina if you have any information regarding this case please share well this next one i'm sorry i did not mean to step on your toes <laughs> oh no problem dear go right ahead the Man, you step on my toes all the time well i'm supposed to darn yes yeah, it's part of job description i'm chief cook and bottle washer and step, I'm step or toes or owner. <laughs> you so, going to Win Winston Salem? No, nah, I was going to go to Charlotte first. Oh, okay. Can I go to Charlotte? Yep. Yes, because this one was interesting. All right, go ahead. It's, the body was found um, October the twelfth, twenty twenty three, and they estimated his age between nineteen and ninety nine. He was a male and uncertain about his race. And he they estimated him as an adult, as I said, 19 through 99, 2023. His height, 5'9-ish, mm, they measured. Weight, 104 pounds estimated. Um, location, Charlotte, Mecklenburg County. The victim was located decomposing under a pile of cardboard at a recycling facility. It is believed he may have been delivered in collected recycling wow. product, including deliveries from surrounding counties in South Carolina. Details of his recovery, all of his parts were recovered and they were not recognizable. He was decomposing. Wow. Hair color was unknown. He was bald with some strands of dark hair on the back of his head. Mm. And he had no distinctive features. He had 
shoes, a string around his waist used as a belt, possible shoelace, a black band on the right wrist, possible hair tie, and he was wearing size 30. I'm going to butcher this. W-A-M-E-A, -E WAMI brand black jeans, boxer briefs, white socks, and size 8 white blue Jordan tennis shoes. And all that was on the body. Wow. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Deli delivered. He was delivered. Yes. I mean, that's bad. Yeah. That's... Treated like trash. Very much so. He was took out with the trash. Yep. Sad. All right, guys. The next case, we're going to go to Durham, North Carolina. This um, an African male, um, African-American male. October 6, 2023 was when his body was discovered. Estimated age between 13 and 20 years. The uh, NamUs number here is up109679 guys just write down the numbers if you hear this there there are other case numbers but we're referring to the easiest one to be located on the screen when you do your own search um that that's why we're using those numbers um it's estimated this was a a, a late teenager to a young adult Maybe, like I said, between 13 and 20. Uh, estimated year of death was 2023. 20, five foot two to five foot three. Couldn't estimate his weight. Uh, again, this was because of the state of decomposition. Um, mummified to skeletal remain, remains were found by service workers in an area checking meters. They discovered the body. The area is known for homeless individuals but this person did not seem to reside in this particular area. Now, just speculating here, guys, um, mummified the skeletal remains found by service workers checking a meter. That, you, you know, without a lot of detail, I mean, I read water meters as a kid, a teenager, the meters are outside. That this 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 baby was probably dumped off. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, you get that impression? I do. Let me check one thing here. Sometimes you get maps that are provided that will show you uh, exactly mm -hmm. where. Uh, looks like um, off of East Main Street in Durham, North Carolina. East Main Street, which would have uh, been almost to the corner of East Main Street and North Roxbell Street. Um, that's about the location. And then just going over the accessories, he, uh, he had a wireless earbud case that was burnt uh -huh. on the body. A green folded pocket knife um, with Rangers Lead the Way logo. Oh, okay. Uh, wooden handle folded pocket knife. So he had two pocket knives on him. Uh, the earbuds that were burnt or a pair of brand jeans that burnt while Mia, well, W A L M E A, they were the brand names, they were burnt. Oh, so wow, this, this baby been set on fire. Oh. Um, a Gucci designer belt that was burnt, Nike shoes burnt, gold necklace, um, and a stud earrings with, with a stone that were also found on the body. And again, this was in Durham, North Carolina. Body was located all, uh, October the 6th, 2023. Mummified the skeletal remains found by service workers in an area checking meters. Oh, wow. You reckon somebody kept, kept, kept him and then just dumped him? I don't know. Do you think? What Maybe. Do you think? I, I'm not sure. That's true. Uh, sad. It is sad. Yeah. All these cases are sad. Extremely sad. Guys, if you're listening to this, uh, we've stated this many times, and we are being redundant, but the redundancy is on purpose. 
If you know anything directly about these cases or even indirectly just from uh, listening, conversations, things like this, please do the right thing. Please do the right thing. So which case are you going to go over now, dear? I'm going over case number UP108563. And we are in Asheville, North Carolina. And it, the date the body was found was June 15th, 2023. And they're not sure if it was male or female, or they're not sure of its race. The height or weight, they cannot estimate. All they know so, so, so far is that it was, the body was found the 15th of 2023 in June. And... Buncombe County, not found on tribal land, and it was not recognizable near complete or complete skeleton. So they basically found remains, is what they it was here. missing its eyes, yeah. right and mm -hmm. left. No distinctive food, of course, it was skeletal clothing, it had gray, black pullover, nautica, extra large. Camouflage zip up jacket with hood, real tree, the name of the jacket, black thermal shirt, fruit of the loom, brown sweater, black t shirt, pullover athletic large, black thermal pants, dark athletic pants with cargo pockets, Russell large 38, and a black zip up coat with hood and that's the under armor and there's pictures of all the clothes if you would like to come up here and take a look at them well wow. and as i as we've stated if you if it sounds familiar i mean please if you think you might recognize if the sounding of the clothes because i know there's not much here to go on yeah. i know that but I mean, somebody who's been missing for, I mean, they found the body in June. It, from the way this person was dressed, they were dressed for winter. Yeah. I mean, they, they could have been deceased a good little while. Yeah. So yeah. if you've been missing somebody for a little bit. Yeah. I mean, and guys, you never know somebody's circumstance. I mean, just because they're in one county doesn't mean that they're from another county several no. counties over no you know, um and you never know the set of circumstances um did they just wander off one day uh is there a family mourning them right now because they can't find them i mean people will tell you in this day and time you can find anybody where well, you can't if you, you don't know can't. where they're at if you yeah you got to start somewhere so mm -hmm. All right, guys, the next case is we're going to go to Garner, North Carolina. Um, the UP number here is 104660. This body was found um, male white. Uh, he was found June the 2nd, 2023, with an estimated age of 19 to 49. Okay. Okay. Um, again, decomposition going on here so they couldn't estimate the height or the weight um found in wake county and uh, we've got a map here again so let me zoom on this here they would have been found somewhere in the corner uh or uh, of south mountain drive and high mountain drive um that's that's roughly where where they would have been found so mm. and um again this is in garner north carolina wake county um clothing and and this is why we we picked this okay first let me go over tattoo um the deceased had a tattoo on the right shoulder it mm -hmm. appears to be a bird possibly an owl okay um a male uh, somewhere between the ages of 19 to 49. That's just an estimate uh, with a 
tattoo on their right shoulder that appears to be a bird, possibly an owl. Oh. Um, they were wearing a blue T-shirt with white capital letters on the front of the shirt. Wording on the shirt read, Tequila, Making America Great Again. The wording was uh, surrounded by a white frame. They were also wearing camouflage cargo shorts with black leather belt. And um, near uh, the deceased was a pair of black flip-flops with a blue and yellow design pattern on the insole. And um, again, he was found uh, not recognizable because of the state of decomp. And um, it was found in an area known to be um, frequented by homeless people. Uh, in the woods behind a local Walmart. So, hmm. guys, if you know anything, please, I mean, regardless of their circumstance, what their situation is, you're, you're talking about people who are homeless. Uh, they feel so lost to begin with, and they're living behind a Walmart. And you know why they're living behind a Walmart. They can dig through the dumpsters. So... Guys, if you know anything about this case or any of the others, please, please do the right thing. All righty. If you know something, please. Yep. And this next case is a female. And the case number is UP1033323. This one has got tattoos. And it looks like, I'm going to go into it in a minute, but. You know anybody who has name is Tiffany and her birth date is 11, 14, looks like 96 or 98. Mm -hmm. She's got a, a, a tattoo of a, a baby's foot up there. You might need to get in contact with her. Wow. Yep. That's sad. That is very sad. But let's go ahead and get to that. Um, it's probably about the most identifiable thing we've had. Yeah, it is. Maybe we need, we'll put that on the it might. She was a female, and they're saying she was either white, Caucasian, or Hispanic, Latino, or she could have been all of them. Her nickname, alias, they're saying is Elise. She was an adult between 45 and 65. The estimated year of death is 2023. Between five foot four and five foot six was her height, and she was between 150 and 160 pounds. This is all estimated. Charlotte, North Carolina, in Mecklenburg County, she was an unidentified white female pedestrian hit by several vehicles. On 8318 North I 85 Highway, Charlotte NC, on the night of 415 2023. She is suspected to be homeless and may have gone by the name of Elise. She condition of her remains is not recognizable because of traumatic injuries. She had black hair and very dark brown to black shoulder length hair with gray at the temples. And they're saying she had the presence of underarm hair and she had brown eyes. And she's gotten very lots. She's got one, two, three, four, five, six tattoos, it looks like. On her ears and different places. I can't make them all out. Yes, yeah, that's sad. So sad. It is. She had on a black gray fleece jacket, black t-shirt, a nude bra size XXL, black bottoms, a black pink chargeable light up shoes size five. That's what she was wearing that night. Mm. And so if you know something, she's gotten out of all of these, she's she's got the most identifiable because what, come look at her. Yeah. Get read her that. Name. Read read that. Read that off again. The case number. The case number is UP one zero three three two three. UP one zero three three two three. Please, 
let's find her loved one. There is a Tiffany out there who's looking for her mother. Yeah. Or grandmother. Uh, yes. Sad. That is very sad. All right, guys. Let me check the time right here. Um, we are coming up on time. Um, let me go over here. Um, the... I'm going to read two of them off, Lisa, but both of these are in Pitt County, okay? Okay, you go right ahead. And then that'll give you time for the one you were looking for. Um, March 11th, 1994, the location was Greenville, North Carolina. Estimated age group for this uh, unidentified white female was between the ages of 60 and 70. And that UP code is 279 zero again that's up 2790 um we know he was around 130 pounds again elderly uh age was around or height was around five foot seven estimated time of discovery he was found on march 11th 1994 they believe he had only been deceased a few days okay and um the gentleman was found in an open wooded lot behind the BB and BB and T bank, um, which in 1994 was BB and T it's now truest by a surveyor near a residential area. Okay. And I know exactly where this was at. Cause you know, I lived right down the street for years. Oh yeah. Um, he was known to be homeless and had been sleeping in the woods for approximately two years. Uh, he was never a patron at the local homeless shelter, which had been in operation at that time uh, for four to five years. Uh, many attempts were made locally to identify this man, and all have been unsuccessful. So he never went to the homeless shelter. He mainly stayed out in the, in the woods. Um, all of his body parts were recovered again because he'd only been deceased maybe four to five days at most. Hair color was white. His hair was long. Um, he had a long white beard and mustache. Eye color was brown. Um, he the, he had a mole on his upper left lip, eczema or contact dermatitis on his hands. That could have been from the weather. And uh, his clothing. Three heavy top coats. Five layers of shirt material three pair of pants um no underclothes mm. close to three thousand dollars oh my goodness he had packed them up in little plastic bags or ziploc bags and they were in the linings of his pockets and top coats in other words he would hid them throughout his all this clothing that he, he had. Did he really? Yeah. Um, socks, heavy socks and leather laced field boots. Okay. Um, mm. And again, his uh, body was found March 11th, 1994. Um, was known to have been homeless for at least two years. This lo location was in Greenville, North Carolina. And he had an estimated age of between 60 and 70. And I actually remember this from the news. Do you really? Yeah. Wow. So I want to make sure I covered that one. That is crazy. And I'll do um, the next one from Pitt County and um, give you a chance to, like I said, find the one you wanted. And um, then we'll, we'll wrap it up. Sound good? That sounds really good to me. We're going to go to Bethel, North Carolina, and what is a very old case uh, is a white male discovered May 26, 1975 in Bethel, North Carolina, which is in Pitt County. Um, all they know that he would have been around five foot nine. That's estimated. They couldn't estimate the, estimate the weight. Um, and, and, Here's the here's what happened. A house was being built. The carpenter working on this new house 
found the remains behind the construction site Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. in 1975. So, um, not recognizable, partial skeleton parts only. So there's no telling how long he'd been there. Okay. Um, could be much older than what they're estimating. You know, uh, forensics has come a long way since 1975. This is true. Clothing, wool overcoat, wool tan green sports coat, pants, shirt, two pairs of uh, socks, gray wool outer, red black Aragal socks on the inner, black leather belt with buckle, and the letters JF on the front. Again, a belt buckle bearing the letters JF on the front. A pair of black boots, size 12 to 13, uh, with zipper down the side, which was, that was the style back then in 1975. And I tell you, with the amount of clothing here, uh, overcoat, sports jacket, sports pants, shirts, two pair of socks, um, I don't think this guy was homeless. You wouldn't think he would be. He was dre- well, you, you think about I know the, the thing people would say with well, their two pair of socks. Well, if those shoes were a little too big for him, sure. put on another pair of socks, fill the shoes out. Because you know the shoes, these little boots that, that he had on. You know the ones that everybody wore. Them. I had a pair of them. A- every man that I know <laughs> around that time. And so, you know. Wonder what the circumstances here. A wool overcoat, wool tan green sports jacket, pants, shirt. He was dressed. Yeah, he was, he was dressed. dressed. So something happened. Again, he was discovered May 26, 1975, by a carpenter doing construction work on a new uh, residence. But it makes you wonder, you know. This had to have been a wooded lot at some time. Was he lured out in the woods? I mean, I guess for this to be the age that it is, I still wonder if there's a possibility just with the clothing if if something could be solved here. Yeah, probably. I mean, anything can happen if they've got some of his DNA. Yeah. Again, guys, UP13364. This happened in Bethel, North Carolina. He was discovered May 26, 1975. Um, you want to do the next two? And we'll we'll call it a show. Okie dokie. Um, this next case is UP. The case number is UP5966. And the body was found December 2nd, 1991 in Hubert, North Carolina. And really, they're saying she was an adult, pre-30, what they're aging her to be, between 20s and 30s, 5'2", they can't estimate her weight. She was deceased, um, Onslow County, found by hunters on wooded area off of Bear Creek Road. Um, Details of the recovery, all of her parts were recovered, but she was not resigned. Uh, recognizable she was near complete or complete uh skeleton and she had no distinctive physical features they didn't they said her clothing she had on a heavy crew neck sweater gray or brown and dark possibly blue slacks with an elastic character underneath which which remnants of some type of pantyhose or long leg leotard um Two clothing tags accompany remains, one reading necessary or, uh, sorry, necessary objects limited and the other 1045 pairs, pair of white synthetic slip on shoes with a small white bow. Wow. And that is everything. So the case number again is UP5966. So if you know Anybody with the slightest chance that this could be, please. Absolutely. 
please, please. I'm going to go back here first. I got to get this case number. This case number is going to be UP2652. UP2652. And this here is going to be from is Lewis, Louisville, North Carolina. And the body was found July 3rd, 1993. The estimated age range would be between 23 and 25 years old. And she was a female and she was an American Indian or an Alaska native. Oh, I'm in the wrong. No, I am. No, I'm in the right. I was thinking I was gone way off. It is Louisville, North Carolina. Well. Yeah. Somebody from Alaska all the way down here. She was an adult pre-30. Her estimated age, they're saying between 23 and 25. Her height was 5'4", and they can't estimate her weight. Her body was found, like I said, July 3rd. Um, in Louisville, North Carolina, for lost you County. there, just, just, Lisa. Can you hear me, Lisa? Hello. Yeah, we lost. Can you hear me? Can you? I can hear you now. All right, we lost you there just for a second. Well, I'm here. <laughs> I yes. didn't go anywhere. Y'all went somewhere. I'm sitting in the same spot. Well, what I'm getting at, if you don't mind, <laughs> what? What, what county were you in again? I don't know now. <laughs> well. I think I am on an outer space, possibly. Maybe not. Maybe. Let me oh, see. that gummy has kicked in. It really did. Forsyth, <laughs> Forsyth County. Okay. That's where I'm at. And let's go down here. To she, had, they don't have anything about her clothing, and it was just partial skeletal parts only. And what Found, state, what city was this in? Louisville, North Carolina. Louisville, okay. And it was right. found by a group of horseback riders adjacent to the banks of the Attican River. Right. It was discovered seven three, but not reported until seven seven. Hmm. No pictures, anything. But th if this this sounds like somebody you know, please. Case number is UP. I'm gonna get it exact two six five two. Once again, it is UT UP. Two six five two. I am so sorry. <laughs> you lost me, and now I can't speak. That's all right. That's all right. Um, if you don't mind, go back over the date the body was found. Okay, the date the body was found. That was July third. If I'm not yeah, July third, nineteen ninety three. Yeah. And I mean. Really, there's nothing. She would have been in her estimated age between 23 and 25, no no more than 30. She was American yeah. Indian, Alaska Native. And you, you, the thing that is con that makes this so unique, um, she was found by a group of horseback riders. Yep, to the adjacent to the banks of the Attican River. Mm -hmm. Discovered on seven three, not reported till seven seven. Mm -hmm. That's bothersome. That is very bo bothersome. But now, is the Attican River part of the Indian land up there? No. No. Okay, that is no, bothersome. They, they don't. They've got it listed as unknown. I, I guess you know. Was, oh, that's right. I see that. Was she dumped? Way. Was she dumped there? I don't know. That's. I mean, you found her on the riverbank. I mean, that's. She was probably dumped. Makes you wonder. It really it does. does. All right. Let me check her time. You want to do one more, and then we'll we'll call it a, a evening until we uh, resume. 
Do you want to do it or do you want me to do it? Since I started it, you can finish it. All righty. Well, then that's that's what we will do, my dear. Get it here really quick. Again, guys, if you know anything regarding any of the cases that we have talked about today, please contact the proper authorities. I mean, it, it could be as simple as um, somebody saying, hey, you know, did you know about this? No, I didn't know about that. Well, let me tell you all about this. Well, gee, how do you know? Oh, you know, I know about it this way. Uh, and guys, you're not getting anybody in trouble. Um, you're trying to help somebody is what you're really trying to do. Okay. You just are trying to help somebody. And um, the next one that we're getting ready to go to. The UP. Are you there? Because I've lost you now. One eight. Can you hear me? Yes. I might be saying it's time to go because I cannot hear you. <laughs> you can't hear me now? I can hear you now. Okay. All right. So this UP number here is 1882. The body was discovered June the 2nd, 1978 in Lumberton, North Carolina. A female, white, uh, estimated between the ages of 15 and 20. Again, this was in Lumberton, North Carolina. Body was found this June seconds, nineteen seventy eight, five foot three, estimated to be around a hundred and ten pounds, um, estimated to have been deceased for roughly two weeks. I still can't hear you. Okay, I don't hear you. You don't hear me? Now I hear you. Okay. All right. So uh, this body was discovered off NC-72 East Highway. That's where the body was discovered. And uh, light brown to medium length brown hair. Eye color couldn't be identified. And guys, there are pictures here of clothing and shoes. Blue jeans with slightly ragged, uh, apparently cut off bottoms, hooded shirt or sweater, knit tight, very short sleeves. Horizontal colored stripes, bikini type panties, size six wedge type open toed shoes with canvas straps, um, rubber soles and flower designs. So that's like open toed shoes, uh, flip flops with a strap. Yep. You're back. I can't, I'm having trouble here. 15 hearing to 20 you. years. Okay. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Okay. Is that better? Yes, that's a lot better. Sorry, guys. We're having te technical, technical difficulties. Technical difficulties, so please stand by. And um, you can go ahead and tell them, honey. Hopefully in the next week or so, there's going to be a lot of changes. Yes, and you might get to take a peek at us if we're, you're lucky or unlucky. Yeah. We'll be Your choice. using new huh? equipment. New equipment. Yay, new equipment. Yay. But again, June 2nd, 1978, Lumberton, North Carolina, female, white, uh, estimated to be between the ages of 15 and 20. That UP number is 1882. Guys, check these pictures out. Maybe you know something, okay? Maybe somebody knows something. Please it's time for the proper yeah, authorities. It's time for these people to come home. Um, it is. Please. Well, dear, without further ado, we have reached the end. We don't have a song like they used to do in the old days, but have we'll a always buckles. overlay yeah. it with something. So we'll have something. I have a buckles very lemonade kind of day. <laughs>